during uh, the last Israeli election, uh, President Obama sent uh, a, a campaign team to help defeat uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. Isn't that correct? Yes. President Obama didn't get much credibility inside Israel, I think. Uh, I think most Israelis looked at Obama and didn't consider him a genuine friend, although he was very generous in his financial support for Israel. Militarily. Military, military aid. Seventy percent of which uh, gets spent on jobs in the United States. Of course, yeah. Which well, the public is not aware of. True. But it, uh, I think most Israelis were very suspicious about Obama. The way he's been handling U.S. policy in the Middle East gave many Israelis the sense that he doesn't really understand what's going on in the region. So for many Israelis, I think it was a relief to see his two terms ending. But would it have been better with Hillary Clinton rather than Donald Trump as president for Israel? I do not consider myself an expert on American politics. The view from Israel is that Hillary Clinton would have been a continuation of the previous eight years, that she wouldn't have presented change. Mm -hmm. I think she's a much greater friend of Israel than Obama was. But I think Israelis are looking at Trump, hoping he's bringing something new. A new approach from America, America that takes a stand, America that gets respected in the region, and again, regaining its position as an important superpower in the Middle East, which America ceased to be in the Obama years. President Trump, he's now in the Middle East. He met today in Saudi Arabia, and he's gonna be making a big speech tomorrow uh, in which it's reported that he's going to address uh, radical Islam. How can Saudi Arabia be relied upon to defeat, to join as a, a reliable ally to defeat radical Islam when they're promoting it in mosques throughout the West? Look, there are no saints in international politics. No one is a saint and everyone is tainted. But at the end of the day, at least the perspective from the Middle East is that the new administration can differentiate between allies and negative forces in the region. And right now, Saudi Arabia, with all its problems, and it has many problems internally and with its external influence in the region, but still is a very important U.S. ally. Mm -hmm. And if, if, if this new administration will be able to join the forces of the moderate Sunni countries, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Jordan, Gulf, Morocco, to fight against ISIS as the primary target, but there are more targets after that, I believe this would be a positive development for the region. Because at the end of the day, first of all, ISIS needs to be defeated. And the second question is, what would replace that?